Hello everyone and welcome back. As you can see, the only thing changed since the last time well, is the water. I made it a little bit darker and that's all. And then the mountain a little bit darker. But that's that's all I've done. So let's get to it. Let's continue with our uh, with our picture here. And what we're going to do is uh, well we have everything like all the shapes and, and mountains and everything, but they don't really look like uh, nice yet. They do not we're not gradient or anything, and that's what we're going to what we're going to fix. That's what we're going to fix. And the way to do it is to get yourself open those mountain mountains mountain folder and we're going to double click on the mountain and we're going to add a gradient and this is what i like about photoshop cc 2017 you can add as many gradients as you want and 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 other different f effects it's it's so it's so nice but then you will have to Obviously, we will have to at the at the end rasterize the, these layer styles. But don't worry, we're going to we're going to fix everything. Don't worry. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to make the mountain darker as it goes down. And what we can do, and then, and then we can do is by going into this gradient thing, then selecting this point here, tell it to be black, and tell this one to be black as well. And we're going to get opacity down on one of these on one end like this one for example tell it to go all the way down press ok and go ahead and select linear style and now you can see that the mountain is darker as it goes down what we're going to do we can also go ahead and tell it to be not as dark like 50% maybe and then press OK. Same thing with Mountain 2. But but hey, hold on now a second. You can see that Mountain 2 goes down all the way there. And the reason is why I'm concerned about this is because our mountains, the, the, the thing, the gradient is attached to the layer. So, oh, I was about to sneeze, I'm sorry. So the mount, so let's say that it that the layer ends, um, that the layer ends like here. This is where it's going to get extremely dark for the mountain. I'm going to show you. You can see it's extremely dark in this point. In in this point. But if we have the mountain as big as it is. Is not, this point is not going to be as as dark as it as it was, and that's the only thing that I'm like, I I was concerned about. But you can leave it as you, as it is. You don't have to mark uh, the like the bottom there for your mountain and and you know delete it. But that's what I what I'm doing here. And the reason is why this is happening is because we have we have uh, for the gradient we have enabled the align with layer if we don't align with layer it's going to uh, this this gradient thing is going to start wherever it wants it's going to start in the center of the pic picture and it doesn't really look nice all the time and the last mountain There you go. You have we now have a little bit of gradient in them, so you can see you can see them a little bit more, and it looks nice, very good. We can do the same thing for water because as it goes down towards our screen, it goes darker, and the same thing for the sky. But this time, you can see that the sky goes darker as we go down. What we want instead is go make it go up because as we as uh, this the sky in the top is always darker than the sky in the in the bottom. So what we're going to do at least in the night. So what we're going to do we're going to click on reverse without fiddling with the with the thing there. What we can do, however, with the fiddling here is maybe we want the darkness to start a little bit later. So we have this little transparent point here, and we, what we can do we can just drag it 
to like 25% and call it OK. Now you can see the sky up there got a lot darker than, than here because we moved the point a bit. And now 35, 36% looks good. And there you go. That's, <laughs> that's, that's how you do it. Do this thing. Yes, it's it's that simple. It's 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 that simple. That's that's what I did with my bike background. <laughs> so yeah, this is this is it. This is already looking looking good. Looking not not perfect, but kind of good. It's it's okay. All right, let's get the stars going. What we do, what we're going to do with the stars, we're going to create a new layer above sky. We're going to call this one stars. Remember to always call your call the layers, whatever you use something good, or you're going to be like, oh no, what what is this layer? <laughs> That's what I often find myself doing, like, oh, f shit, what is this layer? <laughs> I did some, I don't know what this is. And what I have done is created my own brush for the stars, which is here. But I'm not going to use it, I'm going to teach you how to create your own brush. Because, well, this is a tutorial on how to do things like this. So I have to go all the way from the beginning. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and select one of the one of these brushes, one of these standard brushes, if you have a different one selected, and the tip and this tip side, tip shape, select select a standard round round brush. It's 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 nothing special, and go ahead and in the brush tip shapes, go with hardness zero, size don't matter none yet, and spacing go all oh, go like um, however you however much you like. This is going to basically be the spacing between each star. So if you want a sky full of stars, go ahead with uh, somewhere between 100 and 200 or at 300%. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little bit sick. And if you want uh, less stars, go ahead with higher spacing. I'm going to go with a 300%. That's, that's, that's looking nice. In shape dynamics, go ahead and turn off this pen pressure thing. Go ahead with size jitter 100% if you want. You don't have to, I mean, you can go with however much size jitter you want. I mean, this is just, I'm giving you an example, you can, <clears throat> how to do this. And the reason why we do size is because not all stars are exactly the same size. So we can just, you know, make each star unique or more unique. Now go ahead and enable scatter and go with uh, a high percentage. Then go ahead with more count. We're going to add more stars. I, I, I like I like a lot of stars. And when you add count, go with go with a count jitter. It's going to make scattered stars. <laughs> now what we're going to do, if you want, if you don't want stars to be all the exact same color you can go ahead with color dynamics and like have uh, have them switch have them switch colors <laughs> i'm i'm sorry i'm i really don't know what the hell I'm, what, what's going with me on with me and you can go ahead with different uh with different jitters for each one of those we're going to also enable opacity jitter because not all stars brush shine as bright as the others. And if you want to, I, you don't have to add noise. And what we're going to do uh, now, we're going to edit the spacing a little bit. I want 200%. more scatter and now let's see what we have done and remember I, I we've enabled foreground background jitter so depending on our back on foreground background colors it's going to get different uh, the stars going to be different colors so if we go ahead with a, like a like a red color maybe and let's go with a purple color it's going to it's going to get uh, red stars and we don't we don't want that <laughs> We want the stars to be bright. Right, let's disable these ones. I don't like them. And what we're going, we can, what we can, what we can do as well is go ahead with the dual, dual brush and edit this one however you like. And what this will do, as you can see, it will cut off a little bit 
of the star and you can play around with it a little bit if you want to this will make this will make your stars look you can you can basically make your stars however you want them to look like this is i think this is okay for me how 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 i've done it now this is pretty okay for me so i'm going to keep it like this and now all you have to do when you have your brush just paint it in paint paint the paint the stars in just hold down left click and paint them in if you want more details, go ahead with smaller brush. And as, we, as now we have a st starry, starry night. There you go. Now what we have done is our stars are obviously can go obviously wherever they they want. What we want to do is select the sky with control. And now when we have the stars layer, what we can do is either create a mask, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to create a mask. There you go. You have the mask. If you invert the mask, it's going to make the mountain, it's going to make the stars disappear or appear. This is just to show you how to fix, how to easily fix it. If, for example, for example, your stars don't show after, uh, after uh, selecting the the sky layer, for some reason. So there you go. Now we have the stars. We're not going to go outside their layer for no reason. Uh, we have the water. We have everything. We still don't have the rift, uh, reflection, but that's going to be. We're going to do it at the end when we do everything with the mountains and stars and the moon. Because if we do it now, uh, we're going to have to do the reflection all over again. If we do, if we do uh, like, yeah, like for example, uh, a different uh, thing to the mount, one of the mountains, we're going to have to copy it all over again, and it's going to give you a headache. Trust me. So we're, that's why we're doing this at the end. Now we've got the moon, we've got the stars, we've got pretty much, pretty much everything. What we're going to do now, we're going to add. We're going to add clouds and clouds we're going to we can add in front of the moon or behind the moon i think we're going to add them in front of the moon now what we're going to do there's a simple filter in, in photoshop that's called the clouds and it samples the foreground and background colors so what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and paint this sky in and we're going to go to filter and we're going to go to render and clouds and now you can see you have this, these clouds unfortunately you can't really customize these clouds these clouds and that's really sad and for some reason it didn't oh well what we're going well this is a simple fix watch this m delete all this then select mountain one mountain two mountain four Mountain 4. There we go. The clouds are now in perfect shape. Or you can go ahead with mask tools, but eh. and now you can see we can't we can't see the moon or anything. So just drag the opacity down to 25. To somewhere between to somewhere like 25%. And now you can see we have clouds, but we also have we also see the moon and the stars. And that's what we want. Clouds. <laughs> There you go, that's how simple it is to create clouds. So, we're hitting 15 minutes, and uh, we're going to continue on the next part. So thank you so much for watching, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and hopefully I won't be I won't be as, as sick next in the next part. So thank you so much for watching, have a, have a good one everybody, and see you in the next part. Bye bye.